Chelsea over here doing some training. She has just finished up week one. So we're just going to put a little bit on tape again, kind of show you where we're at so far. Let's go. Okay, so there's just a little bit with her. As you've seen, um, she's doing really good. She's improved really a lot. Uh, fit throws are really constant. Um, now it's just kind of every now and then when I would uh, will switch up directions. Um, she's like, no, I don't want to do that. Um, well, I'm, you know, we're kind of cutting them out. She's not going to be able. I don't know if that's what y'all mean by the talking back or not. Um, but it's just like kids, you know, you're not going to let them throw a tinder tantrum in the store. We're not going to throw a tinder tantrum while we're training. Um, you know, she needs to learn that the person at the end of the leash or that's working with her is the one in charge, not her. Um, I think from what I hear and I kind of read a little bit, a lot of that kind of does have to do with um, her being a hunting dog. Um, they're very, can be hard headed and stubborn sometimes. Um, and that's just, you know, kind of with really any working breed. Um, they need a job and something to do and so um, to keep her stimulated uh, but she's doing good her stays are actually really nice and good once I get her to go into that sit she'll stay there um, so I'm gonna start adding in some distractions and things like that I'm um, still working on some focus and paying attention and getting that walk uh, much smoother without any of the fit throwings and things like that um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put her up and give her a break and we'll see you at the end of her second week Allie let's go 